Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and this is part two of the Gethly Gay video where I show you some of the things I purchased in Gethly Gay car boot sale this week. This one's a little larger video than the last. Um, obviously I'm going to do the jewellery separate so it's going to be three parts to the uh, Sunday's buy-in. But um, I pulled a few bits out here now to uh, let you have a look at and they, believe it or not, didn't realise it at the time when I bought it. I bought it all fast, packed into a box, forgot about it in the car. I don't bother looking at it because I don't sell it the same day. I buy the stuff fast. Uh, when I'm at the stalls, um, I literally, I grab the pieces as quick as I can, get them in a bag and move on to the next stall because the more I hang around, I'm in or browsing or assessing an item, this time I could be walking around picking another item up. At the end of the day, if I've already bought that item, put it in my bag, I will worry about it later. Whether it's a right buy or a wrong buy, you worry about it afterwards when you've got time to sit down and look at it. And I've just looked at something for the first time now and I'm jumping up and down really super happy. Well, two things actually. Anyway, I'm going to start off with some run of the mill work in stock in a minute. Bought a little arts and crafts copper charger small charger or plate it's all hand beaten lovely color to the copper good weight unfortunately no maker's mark um, it's not exactly the most decorative so you know what you're after is newlin or pearson's or keswick um, or a nice fish motif or something along them lines but it is still a decorative charger it come in for a pound it's two or three pound of copper there, so I'm not gonna lose no money, but come in for a pound. Um, I'll hang that on the wall, and to be totally honest with you, I don't see a problem getting 20 quid for that, 15, 20 quid, but uh, we'll see anyway. Moving along, I had a pair of Victorian brass and cast iron fire dogs. Yeah, they don't look like dogs, do they? <laughs> fire dogs, basically, you'd put them on your heart next to your fire like so, and you'd put your poker and your brush and your shovel on them. Almost like a companion set, but for holding uh, your utensils um, at the side of the fire. Good, good age to them, both of them. I haven't looked if there's any stamps on them yet. Um, I've only had a quick little look, but they're nice enough. They're 19th century. A little beaten up, but they got a really nice patina to them. I'm quite happy with those. They were a pound each, so that's two pounds. Um, but for two pounds, you know, I'm not gonna struggle again, 10 to one, but they no problem whatsoever. The thing I got here is a little interesting. It's a sculpture or a group of buildings or something along them lines. To be totally honest with you, I'm not a hundred percent what it is. I can tell you now, it's probably from Dubai or something like that. It's got a load of writing I can't read. There you go. But it looks like maybe some towers or something in Dubai. But it's a brass sculpture. And uh, just as a nice little brass ornament for a pound, I wasn't going to leave it there. It's something that's different. If I haven't seen one before, then, you know, it's different. And somebody who collects brass or anything architectural, building, structural, you know, it's a nice, interesting piece. I had a pair of crystal towers from Dubai um, when I opened up a shop and they sold pretty fast. So you never know, for a quid, I wasn't gonna worry about it. Um, as you know, I have a collector who comes in for pub memorabilia. Um, I bought a collection of chrome on brass with plastic yeah, they're all plastic fronts with the picture in of the brains and strongbow and carlin double-sided some of them that one's carlin on that side and strongbow on that side so some nice little um pump beer pump signs or keg signs whatever you want to call them you know for when they pull in they know what they pull in so yeah happy with those they come in cheap they were a pound each literally a pound each and I got two four five of them 
I don't know, I'm going to be chucking between 5 and £10 pound each on them, depending on how much they're pulling online. You know, it's not out this world to ask a fiver. You probably won't buy the doublers. However, I'll put them all out and he'll take whatever he takes. So there's a nice little group there of little brewery signs. I had a nice little Tom's the Tank Engine baby bowl. Um, why do they call them baby bowls? I don't know if it's because babies used to eat out of them or if it's because they were always given as christening sets. Do you know I don't know. I'll have to look that up. But they, they're known as baby bowls. This one's Thomas the Tank Engine and produced by Wedgwood of England. So, but for a pound, you know, it's, again, it's probably going to be another 10 or 15 pounds uh, but they're in the bowl. So, Thomas the Tank, Jojo, happy days. Moving along, I bought, oh, I missed, um, big Harry Potter uh, pewter figure, but I did manage to get this one um, for a pound, boxed, and it's a little dutty figure of Hermione. Harry Potter, Warner Brothers, and so on, all on the base. But yeah, we've got a little pewter collectible figure of Hermione. Cost me a quid. It's got to be worth, I don't know, something like a tenner maybe. So we'll have a look on there, online with them. I've got a couple of run the mill items now, and then two star lots to show you. All right, so the run of the mill items, which I think still think they're quite cute. I had two brass milk urns, quite thick, heavy brass. Now, we used to have our milk in these all the time over here. Um, people collect these now and display them in the garden or paint it up almost like bargeway. Um, yeah, they were a pound each and I thought, well, do you know what? I quite like those. They're different, they'll go in the shop. Yeah. Even if I said 12 quid to pay, I'm still making a tenner on them and it's something for the shelves that looks different and actually I like the look of. I had a little bell. Um, looks like Lord Nelson or somebody on the top. Admiral Nelson. Don't think it's Napoleon, could be Napoleon, but it's probably Lord Nelson. <coughs> Little shop bell or servant bell. They don't pull a lot of money, they really don't. But a solid brass, I thought it's a little novelty in the uh, cabinet, you know. Somebody may want it for in the cafe uh, or in one of the shops, they may go, Ooh, a little bell, serving bell. You know, if they're at you know, the counter and someone wants serving at the till. So that's a nice little. Now again it was a quid. This one was only 50p and uh, if I can't sell it it'll go in my scrap box. You got a uh, little solid brass jug with a uh, lid and the handles are two acorns. It's nothing spectacular guys, it's just a little bit of novelty brass. I may shine it up, get it looking really pretty and um, chuck a tenner on it and see what happens and if it don't sell, it don't sell, I don't really care. Last bit of brass that I'm showing you. I actually quite like this one. The only way I can say it, it's got almost Egyptian feel to it to me. Um, I don't know what you think. It's got a single loop to handle. The underneath is quite interesting. I've seen this finish before on a base, but I can't think what on. But again, it was a pound, and it's a good, heavy brass vase. Um, so my money's there in the scrap value anyway, so it's not a problem. Then, off the same stall, as all the metal wave come, at a pound a piece, at the next two pieces, and they are beautiful. I'll show you this one first, which is a WMF. Don't ask me to pronounce it. But it's a WMF solid brass ink stand. Beautiful piece. 
No liner, unfortunately. But liners are not impossible to get. Bit of wear on it, but you know what? That is really, really nice. Stamped in the base in there. A little hard to read. I don't know if you can see the mark. Now, WMF has a few different marks. The mark you're looking for, the early mark, is the bird. Um, I think it's an ostrich. But it's a bird anyway. Other than that, you've got the WMNF as well. It's, but they've got a few different marks. I'll show you a picture of the marks anyway um, in just a minute when I'm looking at them. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. A little dent on the back there. I'll straighten that up, that's nothing. But yeah, it was a pound. Realistically, it should be 40 quid, 35, 40 pound as is. Untouched. Then we come to my star lot. Some years ago, I bought a period. 18th century tinder lighter. Well, this isn't an 18th century tinder lighter. It's a modern tinder lighter. But it is my star lot. When you open it, the top comes up. Do you know why yet? It's my star lot. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be my star lot. Anyway, I'm going to research them in a minute and price them. There's a magic name underneath. Hopefully, the lighting in here will allow you to read it. It reads Dunhill. Tinder pistol made in England, pattern number 592139. We have a Daniel lighter in the form of a Tinder pistol, guys. I don't know, but that's got to be bloody rare. I think it's missing a bit of flint off here. I would assume, because a normal one would have flint, but it may not. It may just have the holder for the flint. I don't know. But we will find out. But yeah. Bloody tinder lighter. Can you believe that? Needs a flint and probably some petrol. But you know what? Can't wait to research that. I'm excited. Believe it or not, I only just realised it was a Daniel lighter when I pulled out the box to look at it. I bought this yesterday at the car boot sale and didn't even look at it. I just went, oh, yeah, Tinder lighter, I'll have that. Oh, yeah, brass, I'll have that, I'll have that. And I just filled the box up. And I walked away, I spent about 20 quid with the man, 15 quid with the man, wherever it was. And honestly, I've got a few hundred pounds worth of stuff. Absolutely bouncing with it. But that's got my biggest potential. But the WMF ink stand is good. Um, Tinder light is good. I also had most of what you saw on uh, the last video I put out off the same gentleman. Most of it, to be honest, was come off one gentleman at a pound a piece. So all I can say is I hope to God he's there again on Sunday. I'm going to get doing the research, guys, and showing you some of the pieces. I'm not going to research it all. Um, those that brass sculpture of the towers, there's no way I'm going to figure out what that is. To be honest, I'm not even going to waste my time trying. Because whether I know what it is or don't know what it is, it's still going to be 12 or 15 quid. Um, the bell I'm not going to bother with. I'm going to just ask a tenner, see if I can get it. And same for the jug. But the, the other pieces I will research, so we'll see where we go. So, hope you enjoy and we'll see you soon. Guys, we're going to start off with uh, the rarest find. The Dunhill Tinder Pistol Lighter. And look at that. There's one Askin up for sale, £120 on eBay. There's another £161 or buy it now £210. There's another £166. You go looking for solds. Bear with me a second. And there are solds at £83.99. So it's looking like that's going to be a £100 lighter, no problem whatsoever. So I got 100 to 1 on that lighter, guys. 100 to 1. Wow. The Wedgwood Baby Bowl. Now, like a numpty, I left the cup there. I didn't want the cup, I just wanted the baby bowl. Um, 
and a full set is £36 by there. Oh, you got the cup and bowl, and full set again. A cup and bowl with £11, but there we have it. The baby bowls are a tenner on their own, so that's all right. It's still going to be a, a tenner for a pound, but I'll put it in the shop for 12 Now, the fire dogs. Now, similar ones, they're around the 50 and £40 range. There's a similar-ish pair, but there. Move down, there's another couple of similar pairs. Nothing's identical on you whatsoever to what I got. This is about the right period to what I got, late, 18, uh, late 1800s, you know, late 19th century. Um, but at the same time, if I show you in just a minute, where some people are selling them for 40s, 50s, you know, there's a pair there that ain't as nice as mine for 30. Um, you come over here, and it's quite a plain pair, granted, mine are better than these. But they're asking £18 for what they call and irons or fire dogs. So, somewhere between £20 and £40 for those fire dogs is going to be absolutely fine. Then we move on, there's an almost identical brass ink stand by WMF, £180 up for sale. It's not identical, but it's not far off. Um, you know, the design's there. You move over to the soles. Oh, obviously, anything WMF sells for big money. But um, there are no brass ones on there whatsoever. There's some pewter ones on there for 60s, 56 and so forth. But brass ones, no, none. And finally, we move on to the pub front signs or badge. And they're around a tenner, nine, ten pounds, that sort of monies. But they do go all the way up. This is bottom prices. They do go all the way up if I scroll up. Can't find the exact ones I got. Let me change out the badge. Let's see what I got. There are no results. So they're going to be around a tenner each, guys. But I'm not going to achieve that by any means. Um, I'll probably put a fiver each on them. And I'll be happy with a fiver each, to be honest with you. So that's where we're at. Obviously, the Inkwell and the Tinder Lighter were the big winners of today. I'll just give you a last little look at my uh, Dunhill. There we have it. And just in case you couldn't read it earlier with the light. There we go. Dunhill Tinder Pistol. Perfect. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Um, as you can see, some good profits to be made there on them few pieces. Some interesting things. Other than that, work in stock. Happy enough. I'll buy it all day long. Anyway, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed having a look at these food pieces. If you have, I would appreciate a like and a share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know. You've subscribed, I'll give you a thumbs up. Um, you'll find me on Facebook, I have a page in a group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay, it's Antiques Arena Clearance. Make sure you put clearance at the end or you won't be looking at my site. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I've got my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com or you can come to the shop and see me. It's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.